Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu from Israel, our ally, was invited to speak before Congress by John Boehner. But you would think, from the reaction of the White House, he invited the leader of ISIS to speak to Congress. They were outraged by the invitation. They were outraged that Netanyahu accepted the invitation. They were outraged enough for the president to refuse to meet with the prime minister while he was here. What is going on? Look, there is some game playing on both sides. Everyone knows Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Obama don't like each other. And John Boehner knew that when he extended the invitation. The White House claims the president didn't meet with Netanyahu because of a long-standing policy not to interfere with the politics of another country. Netanyahu is running for re-election, but there is no long-standing policy not to meet with the head of state while he's running for re-election. The only person in this strange love-hate triangle who seems to be true of spirit and true of cause is Benjamin Netanyahu, who came to America to plead with us not to work out a nuclear arms deal with Iran. It has long been rumored that Iran is close to building nuclear weapons, which is why the world, led by the U.S., has imposed tough economic sanctions. The rumored agreement would lift those sanctions in return for a promise from Iran that they wouldn't build nuclear weapons. Great. What is that, a pinky promise? Didn't we have an agreement like that once before with this guy? Yeah, that turned out pretty well. And why are we negotiating with Iran? Not too long ago, they helped to kill American men and women in Iraq and Afghanistan. They came to the bargaining table with American blood on their hands. Netanyahu is right to warn us not to trust Iran, a country that teaches its young the mantra, death to America. Which gets us back to President Obama and his not meeting with Benjamin Netanyahu. Doesn't it seem like he doesn't want to insult Iran and blow the agreement? And by the way, he's calling it an agreement and not a treaty because treaties have to be approved by Congress and this deal would not be approved. He is leaving our elected congressman out of the process. The whole thing stinks to high heaven, which makes you question a president who would turn his back on our friends and make a deal with our enemies. I'm Larry Menti. See you next week.